We're just days from a new school year, this time with face-to-face -face learning. And the superintendent of DPSCD knows there's a lot of anxiety. And that anxiety felt not just by students and their families, but also by teachers. Our Paula Tutman got a preview of what school might look like from the man in charge of the Detroit Public Schools Community District. I'm proud of our and I also knew that there was a natural sense of distrust from a legacy of DPS. So I knew we had to do better. I knew that we couldn't just talk and we had to actually do. As DPS CD superintendent Dr. Nikolai Viti gave us a tour of one of his facilities and what it will look like come September 7th with a return to face-to-face -face learning. We hired a, a, a separate entity to walk every building every week, um, literally with a checklist to say, is everyone wearing a mask? Are we socially distanced? Are the are the the notes about cleaning left? He's also grappling with a group of teachers who do not believe it is safe to return to school until children under 12 can be vaccinated and until the virus is contained. Last year during summer school, teachers belonging to the group by all means necessary successfully disrupted numerous days of summer school, and they say that may very well be on the table this year as well. I am organizing that we do um, for us to not go back to the classroom. We have a few weeks to work that out. When do we ever get to a point where COVID is completely eradicated? At the end of the day, I think BAM is just out of touch uh, with where our families are. If we're doing 30,000 home visits and um, you know, 85 to 95 percent of our families are saying we're ready to come back in a city, I just think that they're greatly uh, out of touch with where most Detroit families feel and even their colleagues as teachers. While there is a letter of understanding which gives hazard pay and bonuses, BD acknowledges that there is still work to be done on actual salaries and that a contract for teachers still hasn't been reached. Our district has not always been honest with us. They, they have not. Now, um, with the letter of agreement and what has been happening, I just know that when kids come in that building, it's going to be no holes barred. How about we stagger them in, bring in a couple of grade levels at 830, bring in a few later, 930. Don't just rush them all in there together. Some teachers have said they don't believe the district when it says it will cap classroom size at 30 students or fewer. Dr. Vitti says that smaller cramped classes will be gridded out. So all classrooms will be walked through by principals to designate how many seats can actually fit in the classroom at three feet. Children's lives are at stake. Educators' lives are at stake. The community as a whole, we, we got to get it right, Ms. Tutman. We have to get it right. During a pandemic, you can probably multiply the phrase, you can't please everyone with everything all the time, multifold. Paula Tutman, Local 4.